Hi everyone, it's Selena from Twinkle. In this video, I'll be showing you some of Twinkle's common exception word maps and how they can be used to extend and support your child or class's learning. So what is a common exception word? They are words that do not follow the common phonetic spelling rules learnt in year one and two and are often called tricky words as children must learn to recognise them and they can't be sounded out. Twinkle has a wide range of common exception word maps to support this learning. This year three and four common exception word map features all year three and year four tricky words in alphabetical order. This word map is perfect for independent writing activities, to be put on display in your learning area, to be kept on children's desks, or even in workbooks as a handy reference and guide. Common exception word maps are also available for other year groups such as year five and six. Again, words are organized in alphabetical order and have a wide range of uses. If you're looking for a word map which has a wide range of common exception words, which are used throughout Key Stage 2, then this word map would be perfect. This word map displays all of the common exception words for Key Stage 2 and would, again, be perfect to keep to hand or even as a display poster. Twinkle also has some beautifully brightly coloured activities such as these common exception word bracelets. Children can cut them out, join together, and use them as a reference, colouring in the words when they can spell them. Or even this fun multicoloured brick word map, which features the year three and four common exception words. If you want to get the most out of using these word maps, they can be used in a range of ways. Why not get children to practice their spellings using a look, say, cover, write and check activity? Using their word map, take a look at the spelling for 10 seconds, say it, cover the spelling they are focusing on, and then try and spell it out. Uncover, check, and repeat. These common exception word maps can also be used as a spelling test. Why not choose 10 spellings or an additional five spellings to add to your normal spelling test list for the week and test children weekly. This would be a good way to integrate these tricky words into learning so they become more familiar and common to children. Or using these common exception words, you can get children to write them into a sentence which they do not know. This task can sometimes be called a spelling dictation. Not only is this a great activity for children to become more known with these spellings, but it also helps with the meaning of these words as they will be said and written in context. I hope you found this video helpful and how you could use Twinkle's handy word maps with your child or class. Thank you for watching and see you soon.